Okay, so uh, next uh, book for review uh, on my channel, as you can see uh, it on my Goodreads uh, profile is The Invisible Empire, The Natural History of Viruses by Pranay Lal. Now, I, I read this book uh, or I just listened to the, uh, this book on Audible and that is why I am not having the hard copy. And uh, there are a number of uh, good pictures and images and side illustrations that I have really missed because I've looked into one of one of the reviews which was given by a person who had the art copy of this. But uh, anyways, let us just uh, summarize what the book contains. And uh, basically you have been hearing the word virus for the last two years on a continuous basis. You have formed a very bad image for a virus that it only harms you, but the thing is that uh, it's not like that. The book uh, overall just gives you in-depth into what actually the virus does to you, how it is beneficial, how it is an important part of your life, how it has made you evolve. So all these things have been given in this book, which is The Invisible Empire, The Natural History of Viruses. Now, just let me talk, uh, just let me share the chapters that are there. Chapter, there are total 14 chapters that are there. And uh, chapter one is bounty that actually tells us the estimates of how many viruses are there per every human cell that is there. Then chapter two is a whole new word where uh, they say that actually after you know uh, the genoming sequencing started, uh, genetics evolved. It was like we had an idea actually how um, big the word of virus is it, uh, virus is. Then uh, chapter three, super size me. Uh, chapter four is viruses, uh, a deep control. Chapter six is invaders. Chapter seven is a spotty history of the speckled monster. Chapter eight is gut feeling. I'm not giving you details, some, some important issues that I will give you. Gut feeling. Chapter nine is virus vanishes. Chapter 10 is beauty. Chapter 11 is how a virus saved the giant. Chapter 12 is zombies. Chapter 13 is enemies enemy. And chapter 14 is uh, co virus. So basically the things that are, uh, uh, that really uh, uh, surprised me were that um, there are HERVs uh, there, uh, that are present, HERMs that are present. So basically it has been seen that when the uh, uh, genoming sequence, genome sequencing of the human DNA was done, it was found out that um, almost 50 to 60 parts of this genome were actually the copy of the viruses. So it was like that virus uh, did reach, the DNA of the virus did reach the DNA of the humans before uh, in the time the humans had involved. And basically it is this virus that helps um, infertility. Uh, it helps, it has made uh, uh, mammals change from egg laying to birth giving uh, animals and many more things that are there. Apart from that, uh, you know, uh, chapter eight that is on gut feeling gives you an idea. Actually, there are a number of viruses in your gut that uh, in your intestine gas gastrointestinal uh, tract that actually help you out and uh, they do keep the bacteria and uh, the fungus into control. A chapter that is on beauty, on beauty basically talks about tulips. There was once uh, the first recession that happened in the entire uh, world. It was basically because of the falling of the prices of tulips, which was basically made beautiful by the viruses that were present. Then uh, there's one more chapter that how a virus uh, saved a king giant. It is basically based on uh, the tree um, in USA that was actually saved by a virus. Um, that is it. And uh, chapter 12 talks about zombies. Now, how does zombies come into play? Basically, it is basically, basically this chapter uh, is not about, you may think it of as a fictional thing, but uh, author has tried to move it somewhat towards um, uh, the uh, uh, natural thing that is there. Basically, it is uh, there are a number of diseases that makes uh, that uh, 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 affects the mood and the nervous system of humans, and the human somewhat converts into um, into a zombie. Not perfectly a zombie, but somewhat like a zombie. So that is why this chapter is named as zombie. So there he talks about. Uh, number of diseases that are there and how the viruses play uh, into that. Then enemies and me, this is basically uh, the author has given a very good example of why the bacteria in uh, uh, Ganges River, the Ganga River uh, do fall down 
uh, die in six hours after the water is taken out and even though number of corpses body float into ganga and it is one of the most polluted rivers of the world so um, there's a bacteriophage uh, that works uh, that actually attacks uh, viruses uh, that actually attacks bacteria and kills it so that property is given then it talks about bacto bacteriophages which has there should be an emphasis on bacteriophages and um, antibiotic then due to an increase in an antibiotic use there is an antibiotic resistance that has uh, begun to show and uh, the author says to uh, uh, decrease the use of antibiotics in medicals then uh, the last chapter that is covid is gives you an idea of uh, what actually the author summarizes so some key points are that we are not unique humans are not unique till now you thought they were unique every creature is having his own atmosphere and it is so much complex that you may have you may actually be surprised knowing about that then evolution then there was a gene exchange as i told you that there are hrvs in human dna sequence and 8% of 8% of genes are uniquely viral in origin and uh, uh, in the human dna then um, he also says that provoking nature beyond a certain point can have unintended unintended consequences this is basically when you get too near to the wildlife by deforestation and other things viruses are engines of evolution they have made you evolve from maybe from a fish to a mammal to a human um, chemicals micro microbiome are there that are thriving in your body in each and every phase so it is rather thinking of virus as a bug it is better that you make peace with microbes and virus and there should be a recognition of their contributions though it causes disruptions in your life as it has been in the last two years but it also binds your life you may actually not survive if all viruses die so um, this is all the author says about this book a good written book with number of illustrations though i could not get them because i read it on audible and uh, uh, pranayal this is the second book uh, that i have read after indica so um, it's it's a quite a uh, good book it actually makes things easy for hum uh, for people who are who are general have a basic knowledge about what it is so go for it yeah thank you